Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. During World War II, the military required a means by which bridges could be rapidly built under combat conditions, especially during aggressive ground operations. Historically speaking, river crossings such as these are, in the words of the military, termed wet gap crossings. These crossings demand armies to deal with both the adversary's resistance and the natural tribulations of a water obstacle. Successive military campaigns by the U.S. Army developed specialized methods and equipment that made these operations faster and cheaper. The World War II experiences, including the Moselle River crossings, have continued to shape modern military thinking on bridges built during battle. In order to understand precisely how quickly and skillfully the U.S. Army constructs bridges during these intense operations, it's required to look at the Lorraine Campaign of 1944 in World War II. When confronting the Moselle River near Nancy, General Patton's Third Army had to eliminate this natural barrier to preserve the momentum of their advance. These river crossings were essential for encamping large arms organizations under heavy enemy fire. The initial bridgehead on which the armored divisions were to follow was established by one of the key operating units, which took a shambles of all units, the 35th Infantry Division. The whole operation demanded immense coordination between infantry, artillery, and engineers, who were usually under fire and struggling against enemy surprise attacks. In today's military operations, advancements in vehicle technology have made it possible for forces to cross rivers and other water obstacles more efficiently. One of the major key vehicles to cross them is the light armored reconnaissance vehicle. These are highly versatile amphibious vehicles, able to cross shallow rivers and rugged terrain, and at the same time capable of performing surveillance and fast mobility in a combat environment. Upon being deployed quickly, LAR vehicles can assess the obstacles on land and water and overcome them to gain vital intelligence and enable the movement of larger forces. While amphibious vehicles like the LAR are well suited for certain conditions, what happens when the depth of the river exceeds their capabilities? When dealing with deeper river obstacles that can't be crossed by amphibious vehicles like LARs, the military turns to static bridge modules, which offer a highly effective and modular solution. Systems such as dry support bridges or improved ribbon bridges are dispatched in sections by trucks and quickly assembled at the site to establish a strong, reliable connection for vehicles to cross. For example, the DSB can reach a span of 151 feet, 
and can be assembled in just under 90 minutes by well-trained teams, making it vital to pass large and heavy vehicles across difficult terrain. The IRB, often deployed by specialized bridge erection boats, is a floating modular system that permits rapid ferrying across waterways of light and heavy military units. In this manner, the segments are joined together to create floating roadways, permitting the safe transit of troops, supplies and heavy armored vehicles across deep and fast moving rivers. The IRB is flexible in adapting to both river and military requirements, supporting safe and speedy crossings. These static bridge modules are highly modular and adaptable to almost any environment. Hence, they can achieve operational speed and effectiveness in the presence of a deep and scary river to be crossed. A prime example of a bridging vehicle for river crossings is the BVS-10, made by BAE Systems. This all-terrain amphibious and armored vehicle is especially renowned for its performance in extreme conditions, making it one of the most required military transports. The BVS-10 is flexible in moving across extremely difficult snow, swamps, and most importantly, water obstacles. Being articulated with two bodies, it offers maximum flexibility and stability while providing amphibious capability for crossing rivers in combat situations. The vehicle is equipped with its Cummins 5.9-liter six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine. The BVS-10 has 275 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 65 kilometers per hour on land and four kilometers per hour in water. The vehicle is capable of carrying 14 personnel as well as 8 tons of cargo, highlighting its multi-functionality when operated as a troop or supply transport vehicle in bridging operations. Thanks to its modular and configurable design, sheltering specific mission requirements of a troop carrier, command vehicle or recovery unit the vehicle implies the flexibility required in contemporary military operations. These modular bridging systems are highly effective for crossing water obstacles. But what about situations where military units need to traverse small gaps on land or in forested areas? To overcome this, some soldiers of the 1st Brigade Engineer Battalion, 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team, 1st Infantry Division demonstrated a viable method during an exercise at Camp Adagé, Latvia on November 27, 2021. They laid and crossed a heavy assault scissor bridge as part of the Winter Shield 2021 exercise.
The main focus of this exercise was to enhance readiness and interoperability between U.S. and NATO forces by practicing the deployment of this vital piece of engineering equipment. In addition to the usage of specified purpose vehicles and modular systems for the crossing of water bodies, military operations might require the establishment of bridging solutions over land gaps quickly within a limited time. For instance, this typically involves the crossing of wooded or uneven terrains. The girder bridge, also known as the medium girder bridge, emerges in such contexts and is widely accepted and adopted by militaries worldwide. The MGB is a modular, lightweight, and deployable general purpose bridge system that can be assembled in a reasonably short time frame with a capacity for handling substantial loads. This makes it of particular value for rapid deployment while operating under adverse conditions. The initial construction of the MGB is based on a standard sequence of girders bolted and braced together to cross between spaces. This modular bridge could be erected solely by manpower without heavy equipment, which presents a distinct advantage when situations where rapid deployment is paramount arise. Every aspect of MGB has been developed for ease of transport and rapid erection with the capacity for alterations in configurations, depending on the gap and loading demands. Ultimately, the assembled bridge provides a stable and durable platform for carrying heavy military vehicles and equipment. This girder bridge system has been adopted by over 40 armed forces worldwide and is frequently utilized not only in military operations, but also in disaster relief efforts, underscoring its effectiveness and reliability in various conditions. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.